when it comes to satisfying your partner's desires your enthusiasm and your willingness to actually make the person feel good or to experiment will actually take you a very long way but then it also helps to constantly be brushing through your um, core skills if especially if your partner is a vulva owner that is if your partner has a vagina and these skills should include knowing how to finger your partner to make she or her feel good hi loves and welcome back to my channel if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe like and leave your comment um if you are new here this is ages world and i am ajoa or ajoa the model as everybody knows me by um do not forget to stop and follow me on all my social media handles i'll leave them in the subscription box below i mean description box below hey yeah yes um and today we'll be talking about the tips i'll bring the techniques to you the next time the next video but today we are doing tips on how to finger your loved one how to finger your partner your baby girl this goes for both um those who are interested in girls and those and i mean girls who are interested in girls and guys who are interested in girls this page we don't discriminate we are free-minded people so without further noise let's just get into the video knowing what to do is just as important as not knowing what to do remember that fingering someone or making someone feel good in bed doesn't it like it doesn't need to make the person feel like you are using a jack hammer p to actually hit the person inside unless of course the person wants it hard unless of course the person wants it rough then you know how to go about it but then it doesn't mean you should hurt the person in any way and also remember that your fingers has joints that can curl and bend so that is what you're going to be using basically you're using your fingers it's like how good are your fingers that is basically what fingering means so let's just get right into the tips i have like nine tips so i'm not gonna keep long I don't want the video to be that long okay guys number one is keep it clean you know i keep on saying this thing over and over on this channel especially when it comes to framing please make sure that you trim your nails you don't want to see this see how mine is young but then you, when you see some people this is very long you're going to put it inside somebody's budget you are going to hurt the person you need to trim your thing your nails you need to make sure they are they are washed you don't go and hit kebab pepe or kebab and then just the next moment you're fingering somebody with all the pepper in your on your finger whatever you hurt the person number two consider this anatomy lesson anatomy lesson because um porn or let's say porn videos have actually made us or, or has corrupted our brain so actually made it look like and when you're fingering somebody the deeper the finger goes it's actually what makes the fingering or the person have pleasures as the person wish but it's not so it is never so the majority of the vaginas um nerves are located in the first one third of the vaginal canal so super deep isn't really necessary unless it's a sensation that you want Porn has made us believe that deeper is better. But it's not always so. There are people there who may want deeper. There are people there who may just want you to play with their clothes and that's all. Me, for instance, going a lot deeper doesn't do anything to me. It only just makes, I mean, puts me off. I'm a more of playing with my clothes person, type of person. Number three, reach for the loop lube lubricator lube is um lube is actually necessary whenever there's any sexual thing going on even if you won't use it let it be around so that in case in case you take it and use it the fingers against a clitoris or against the vagina actually needs a barrier 
and the loop is there to create that barrier between your fingers and your vagina or on the other person's vagina you know it needs some extra loop so that it doesn't feel like you're using sandpaper into the person's vajayjay you know what i'm trying to say unless if the person that is if the person is not like really wet and then you're trying to force it will be like you're rubbing a rough something on the person's vajayji and it cut it, it tends to result in cuts in um vajayji bends and everything it hurts the person so the lubricant is there or the lubricator is there to make it a lot easier and a lot smoother when you're putting your hands inside to make the person feel pleasure the idea is to make the person feel pleasure not pain number four start slow you know that the vajayjay actually expands and elongates anytime it's aroused if you haven't watched it if your partner is um if your partner is aroused try when you're putting your hands inside try and check the difference and you know what i'm talking about so um i'm saying start slow because we would want to make we want to be sure that our partners are aroused first before we insert our fingers into their vajayji if not if it's not if it's not elongated and it's not expanded there is no way you can even put your fingers inside you intend to hurt the person so start slow play with the clit slow when she's aroused then put it inside Capish? good number five zero in on the clitoris so um what i'm trying to say is play with the clitoris first the clitoris own is actually the only let's say organ at that part that screams pleasure 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 that's the the part itself that gives the pleasure as i was saying me i am not in certain deep person i'm a clitoris kind of person so play with the clitoris it has eight thousand nerve ending in the external gland alone eight thousand nerves so what again do you want eight thousand what else do you want than to play with that place to make your partner feel pleasure pleasure don't forget do not rush or press it down too hard it's just slowly not too hard number six remember that the receiving partner is um in charge what i'm saying is that if i was supposed to be the one who is being fingered i'm i, I will be the one in charge and you fingering me will be like you would be the one listening to what i have to say for everything to go right so the um how do you call it those given please make sure that um you are reading the person please make sure that as you are fingering her you are reading her her moaning how she's um screaming how she's moaning all these things tells you that okay she's and no she's enjoying it no she's not okay listen to her ask her that's anytime i say this i'm like communicate that's the only way communicate ask her are you okay do you like her do you love it do you, is it okay should i go fast should i go slow and if she's not the type that doesn't like talking wait for her to talk and receivers please talk if um what that your partner is doing is not like that just tell him that no move it this way do it this way don't do it this way or or you can actually tell her to teach you so you sit there and then she fingers herself how she likes it you learn from it and then you move that is why it's called a relationship you're here to learn okay guys number seven once you find a rhythm that works for you keep it up i haven't said this story here before but a long time back when um, I, I used like there was a time or sometimes when my guy was still trying to know my sexual move my body moves we could be kind of having sex and then he shifts like when i'm in charge and then he shifts and then everything just goes away everything goes away at that moment 
so when you find a reading that she likes like when you find a reading and you realize that she's mourning nicely and she's saying yes she's saying yes and you know when women women are somewhere in the stuff they say and you realize that is it don't don't change it please don't even shift your fingers because if you shift you start all over again and sometimes once you shift you distracted her and then sometimes it will keep a while sometimes she just like go flat so once you find a rhythm that the rhythm that works for both of you please just keep the rhythm try as much as possible to keep it on so she, she reaches orgasm and comes and i just put your hand off it or move your hand out of it okay i'm saying this because i've been in that position before once my guy shifts a bit uh we have to start on the begging yes that is how i don't know if every girl is like that but me if i'm doing something with my guy and that is what i want everything and once even if it's like this like this and your hand shifts like this uh, that's it you have to start a little again so please when you find a rhythm stick to that rhythm until she says she wants a different thing number eight start with one finger and listen okay this is what i'm coming to some people they say after four play na na and now during the four play now they just insert two fingers when you said three fingers slap you away when you start please one finger because you don't know how tight she is you don't know how open she is one finger make sure she's aroused and wet before you even start to work without without one finger please please don't go and hurt somebody's daughter i beg you just one finger so you insert the one finger first if you realize that okay she's that tight and as you insert the first finger and she moans loud then you know that okay you you now you realize that she's tight but if as time goes on and it expands and elongates you can add the second one and if you're adding the second one and you're finding it very difficult to enter please just choose the one like that don't go ahead somebody's daughter or because you want the person to feel pleasure please one or two when you enter with the one and the two and you realize that okay it's going or even if you enter with one hand you realize that okay she's opened you now you know whether she's open or she's closed to put your leg inside yes i've seen that video somewhere in the uni people are using their legs to fuck people that's how open they were so it's either you, you check you test the waters with your hand one hand well, sorry one finger first if it's better or it needs improvement you go in if it doesn't need any improvement and she's okay at one stay as one okay don't hit somebody number nine know when to hit the brakes in my opinion simply communicate don't go and be, be be feeling that because she's enjoying it then you have to push harder no so she says that push harder you do it if she says she doesn't say anything don't don't push harder communicate i always say this thing on this channel communicate always communicate with your partner but that to push hard ask her what she wants and also listen to her tone if her tone or her moan or her scream changes for the worst know that you have to withdraw back up i mean back out and stop don't hurt someone's daughter please and this goes for both um i mean lesbians and straight people you're stringing the same girl so but i mean i mean it goes for both of them okay so guys i'm gonna end here for today this is just the nine tips that i have for you the next one is the techniques i'm going to show you how to properly do it okay so we are ending here and i love you guys so much uh happy fingering Try it on your, your girlfriends and let me know how it goes. I love you so much. Mm -hmm.